everyone. Welcome back to another What's Sold Wednesday. I'm Mandy. If you're new around here, welcome. Um, I do put out What's Sold videos every Wednesday. I do give you all of my numbers. That includes each individual platform and the fees and shipping that is associated with those. Also an average cost of goods and then I give you a big total at the end of what I'm taking home. So if that sounds interesting to you and you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Um, I do put out three videos a week. So starting with this week, um, I'm not going to lie, this week was rough. I don't really know what happened. I know I was a little bit busier this week. I did start going back to the gym, which we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, you know, I continue going. We had a Halloween party that we went to this last weekend, so we were getting our costumes ready for that. I'll put up a photo somewhere. We were Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings. So... I don't know if it was just maybe kind of a lack of effort this week of sending out offers or just kind of a funky week because I didn't have any sales on Mercari, which I couldn't tell you the last time that that happened. So I'm hoping that's not the new norm. I don't think it will be, but you know, everyone has bad weeks and this was my turn to have one. So I'll flip you around and we'll take a look at some of the visuals. So we're looking at the week of October 16th through the 22nd. Like I said, I don't know what happened with Makari and I didn't have one single sale. That just seems crazy to me. I like triple checked it because I couldn't believe it. But, um, you know, like I said in the intro, I was kind of busy this week and just maybe didn't put enough effort into it and in sending out offers. So definitely making sure I'm going to do that this week. Poshmark is like half of what it was last week. Um, I had a lot of lowball offers this week too that some of them I took, some of them I declined. I just wasn't willing to let um, some better items go for as low as people were offering just for the sake of having sales. Uh, I think that I, you know, that was a good idea so that I don't lose too much money on that. So my gross sales were 379 or 379 and then my fees and shipping were 7635, only 15 items sold, leaving me with 30265 for my profit that this last week. And eBay, um, a little slower, I think. Last week was 12, 6 the week before. So kind of in that average. Um, total sales there was 275.74. Shipping was 46.17. My fees for eBay were 38.64. That's leaving me with 190.93 for seven items. And I did have a sale on Depop. Surprisingly, somebody sent me an offer and they did end up paying for it. Um, it was a pair of shoes and that was $40 shipping I had to pay and the fees that left me with $25.41. So this week, my gross sales were only $694.74 and all of my fees and my average cost of goods, which I think is like $324 this month, left me with Four forty four forty seven, dollars um, with 23 items sold for an average sale price of $30.21. Another thing that I did notice on eBay, let me know anyone that sells on eBay, have you been getting a pretty big influx of returns? I feel like in the last couple weeks, there's been just like a clump of them I'll get every week. And it's all for clothing. It's all for, you know, fit issues. I don't understand how that can be. I do put measurements in. You know, I do have it set up. They pay shipping to them and then they have to pay shipping back. So, I mean, some things they're spending quite a bit of money on. So I don't really know what's going on there. But I hope that that's not a new trend because obviously that's feeding into my profits. So now I'll have you look at some of my listings. Okay, starting with Poshmark, this is a Vince Camuto blazer. It was new with tags. This came in a quick lot box. I think I had this overpriced. I had it priced at like $80 at one point and just kept dropping it. Somebody offered me $40 and I took that. Then these Judy Blue jeans, um, size 16. They were new with tags. I got these at Savers not that long ago. I think for maybe $12. J. Crew, a pullover wool sweater. This came in a flip lot. I took an offer of 16. This I got at the bins, new with tags, just in ink international, and it's just a blue dress. Someone offered me 20. Lauren, Ralph Lauren, these were um, just a pair of sandals. I probably could have gotten more for these if I waited until. Um, spring, summer again, but I'm, heard, I'm sure you've heard me say in the past, I have so many shoes that 
they just need to go. So um, I think I only paid $1.99 for those. J. Crew, this was a chunkier cotton sweater I got for $1.99 at Goodwill. That went for $20. Another pair of Judy Blues. These I've had for a while. Um, they were a plus size 24. I don't remember where I got these. I'm guessing probably Savers, and I probably spent like $8 on them. So not a huge profit return there. Zaya, um, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, or if it's Zia, I think it's Zaya. This brand I do absolutely horrible with. I normally send it all to Play-Dohs, but this I thought I would give a try just because they were a plus size 20. Had them listed for more than this, like probably 20, 25. Someone offered me 15 and I took it because I didn't want to hang on to them any longer. The Casualties, it's an older punk band. I bought this off of a seller on Whatnot with a couple other shirts. Um, for $12, I let that go. I, I think I made money on that yet. I hope so. Simply Vera, Vera Wang. This was just a trench coat. This brand is at Kohl's. I got this at the bin, so probably paid like $3. Um, Shiny Brights, if you've seen my, some of my other videos, these were my grandma's. I think I only have one more box left. I had these originally listed for 45. Somebody offered me, I think like 25. We went back and forth and decided on 30. Free People, these were new with tags, just like a lounge pant. These I let go for 35 just because I don't know if it's supposed to look like this on these pants. Like there were areas where it was like the fabric was almost thinning and this came in a quick lots box. So I don't know if that, like I said, is the style or if they were defected. So 35. Victoria's Secret. This was new at tags. This was a pretty big low ball offer that I let go. Um, I've said in the past, Victoria's Secret is really hit or miss. So I'm definitely going to be looking at brand or the style and the sizes before I purchase those. These I showed maybe last week. Someone bought them on eBay. Must have been the week before because I had to send them back. So they were too small, even though there's me measurements posted, but whatever. Um, I think I sold them for 35 or 45 or something last time on eBay and they went for 55. So even better. Honey Love, talk about this brand a lot. Plus size does great shapewear, full asking price on that sale. White House Black Market, pull on leggings. Um, I've had these for quite a while. They were new with tags. Petite, I don't know if that kind of hurt it. And this one, I think I did a closet clear out on Sunday. Express, these are a pair of faux leather leggings. F plus size, yeah. Plus size 18. Those went for an offer of 24. This was a full price sale on eBay. They're a pair of Athleta, like skinny jeans in black. Picked these up at Goodwill, paid full price $6.99, I think pants are. And this flipped pretty quickly. And like I said, for the full asking of 40. Ariat, uh, this one I took an offer. We went back and forth a couple times and we both decided 25 would be okay. I maybe could have gotten more for this, but like I said earlier, I just really needed sales, so I thought that that would be fine to go. Vince, this is a cashmere sweater. This came in, was it that last? No, it must have been like two quick lots ago boxes. And this one, I sent an offer for 45, or they sent me, they must have sent me an offer for 45. And they took that. Prana, these went for an offer of 25, um, just a normal hiking pants. These, I think, probably came from Goodwill, and I might have paid full price of $6.99. Vineyard Vines, these were kids' pants. These I got at the Goodwill bins, and I think my average cost of goods had to have been, like, around $2. And this was an offer of $19.99. This was a vintage Wranglers shirt. Uh, there's a vintage store in town. It's mainly like um, sporting hats and band tees. It's more geared towards the younger crowd. I live in a college town, so it does great where it is. And then they must just 
have an influx of inventory. I'm not exactly sure where they get it, but then each Thursday when they open for the week, they have a table that they put like their overstock or things that aren't selling. And the price is only like one for five or two for eight. So I went there, might've been last week and they had a whole bunch of these vintage Pearl Snap shirts. I'm guessing they probably got them from wherever they get get their supply from the clothes and figured that their clientele maybe wouldn't really be interested in these since it is like a younger crowd. So I picked up as many as they had, which I thought was a great deal. I think I got some um, vintage NBA hats too. So that that's definitely something I'm going to be looking into since the inventory changes out each week and it's just a great deal. This one went for an offer of 30 so that paid for almost my entire trip when I went there. This was a full sale, a full price sale, the Star Wars jean jacket with like a sweatshirt type thing connected. This I got at Goodwill for $1.99. And then the last sale were these Franco Sardo loafers. They offered me $40. I've had these for a while. Like I've said, trying to get rid of shoes and I had to pay shipping. So I only made like 25, but still a great deal. I think I probably only paid $3.99. So like I said, this was kind of an off week. Um, I'm definitely going to put in more effort this week to listing. Last week, I still had my normal amount of listings. I was doing more um, like copy relist or delist relist so that I didn't have as many quote unquote new listings. So this week I'm really gonna focus on making sure I have my total amount of new listings up and hopefully that will help. I'm also gonna make sure that I am keeping track of sending out um, offers to likers. I do that manually just because I don't really trust the service that I use that um, shares my closet and everything like that to send out offers. It's pretty glitchy so I would prefer to do it on my own. And there are some items, you know, I've had for a really long time that I'm going to give a bigger discount out to. So that I do on my own. So I'm going to make sure and stay on top of that. So we'll see if all of that helps for next week. If you enjoyed the video or you had great sales this week, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what's selling for you. Hopefully it was better than mine. Um, also give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.